page 277 of the little book, And So the Seasons Change, received by William Alexander Brooks. And I'll begin. But you, O natural man, you have chosen the pleasures of sin when grace was given you, and you were given space to repent. For I have reached out to you, I have reached out to your fathers. I have reached out to your father's fathers, even back many jubilees now since I first sent my apostles and prophets. And the great mystery of God has been proclaimed even to the ends of the earth. And now your rejection is complete. And I accept your final decision. And I am Christ Jesus. And I am he who now declares the times of the Gentiles are over. And now comes judgment starting at the house of God in that your lips have denied Yahweh, even the Lord of spirits. Your appointed inheritance is now in the great lake of fiery rolling brimstone, and it would have been good for you if you had not been born. You foolishly think you have all the time in the world, and that Yahweh will continue to wait until perhaps someday you might turn to righteousness from your detestable sins. And I tell you plainly now, time is up. And for many, they have forever missed their chance at eternal life, and even their chance to be amongst my bride, who will come to be admired by all in that day. For so is the fate of all who take the mark. And so I announce to the nations once again. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receives the mark of his name. For the mark surely approaches. It will be the entrance to their society, and they will tell you it is the cure. They will tell you it will bring eternal life. They will tell you that you will never be sick again. They will tell you a multitude of lies so that you will take their beastly jab, and they will convince many that it is for their own good. Behold, fallen ones come posing as aliens with their technologies in their hands. Understand that the mark will make it you slave to their technologies, for they will mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another. Even as iron is not mixed with clay, their beastly mark, even the serpent's bite, will utterly decimate all who take their poison, and there is no escape. Behold, and I heard a great voice out of the temple, saying to the seven angels, Go your ways, and pour out the seven vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and a grievous sore upon the men, which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. And that's the end of the message. I hope you all have a blessed day.